In this video we will look at table speed and ram speed control. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released. All machines let you control the speed the sheet is moved on the table between hits. In addition to that, if you have a machine with RAM control such as a Vipros, AE or EM, you can also control at what speed the RAM moves up and down. In this video we will look at the methods of controlling the RAM speed and table speed. When we start a program, the machine moves the sheet to bring the required point under the striker to be punched. The speed at which the sheet is moved can be modified. There are two ways to modify this speed. One way is for the operator to change it by using the buttons on the control, and the other is by having them set in the program. The machine controls will have four table speed settings, F1 to F4. F1 would be the fastest speed, F2 would be 75% of the fastest speed, F3 would be 50% of the fastest speed, and F4 would be 25% of the fastest speed. So the operator can change these at any time during the execution of a program. On your machines, there is also another choice, which is the FA mode or mild mode. The FA mode does not actually change the travel speed, but does change the axis acceleration and deceleration. When activated, the X and Y axis will accelerate and decelerate at a lower rate. This would be used when we want the sheet not to move and stop too abruptly. So the operator can control this from the control panel, but we can also have these speeds incorporated into our G-code program. To specify a table speed, we insert an F-code on a line by itself. When the machine reads that line, it will change the table speed to the specified F-code. The movement will remain at that speed until a different F-code is encountered or the program is reset by G50. For machines that have the FA or mild mode available, we can use M120 on a line by itself to enable this mode. To disable it, we can use M121 on a line by itself. So what happens if we specify a table speed in the program and the operator selects a different speed on the control? For safety reasons, the machine will choose the slower of the two. So if we have an F3 in the program, the table speed will be set to that speed. Even if the operator selects F1, the machine will continue using F3 speed. So now that we have discussed the speed of the axis movement, let's look at RAM control. First off, let's look at M08, punching completion signal delay, and M09, which cancels it. When the control reads a line with M08 by itself, the control will then wait 1 60th of a second more than usual after the RAM comes back up, before giving the signal to start moving the sheet for the next position. It will continue doing this until it reads M09, or the program is reset by G50. While this does not really change the RAM speed, this is used for older machines that have no RAM speed control. Basically, it gives the punch a little more time to extract itself from the sheet after piercing in thicker material, or when there's a forming tool. As we know, if the sheet moves before the punch has retracted completely from the sheet, it can cause damage to the sheet or even cause an alarm on the control. Newer machines have RAM control. We can control the speed with which the RAM moves, which is independent of the table speed. As with table speed, the control has buttons for selecting at which speed the RAM should move, F1 to F3. F1 is the fastest and F3 is the slowest. In the same way as with table speed, we can also set RAM speed up in the program itself. To do this, we can use the code M681, M682, and M683 on a line by itself, where M681 is the fastest and M683 is the slowest. Once the control will read one of those codes, it will punch using the selected RAM speed. It will continue to do so until it reads a different RAM speed code, or the M686 code. 
which cancels the previous code. G50 will also cancel RAM speed codes. If a RAM speed code is read in the program and the operator selects a different speed on the control, the control will use the slowest of the two for safety reasons. Remember, table speed and RAM speed are different and can be individually set. In general, it is sometimes difficult for a programmer to know when exactly to program a certain table speed or RAM speed unless he can see what is actually happening on the machine. This is why there must be good communication between the machine operator and the programmer. To create efficient programs, operator feedback is essential. In most cases, the table speed and RAM speed are left for the operator to decide since they can see what is happening while the sheet is actually being punched. In an automated machine situation, relying on the operator is sometimes not possible. In time, with the experience gained from operator feedback, a programmer can predict when certain speeds need to be set. Any programmer that has knowledge of the G-codes available and seeing the results of the programs being punched on the machine can adapt and modify the programs he produces in the future. That covers table speed and RAM speed control. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below or email us directly at support at cncsoft.com. See you soon in the next video as we continue our punch programming course series. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released.